everyone, I'm Shay and it is officially 2015. This is actually the second time I've recorded my intro because the first time I said this is officially 2014. So clearly uh, the switch has not been made in my brain yet. But anyway, it's a new year. I have a whole new set of videos that I'm really excited to be releasing. I wanted to start out for my first video of 2015 answering a bunch of questions that I've gotten lately on Instagram and Facebook and social media. So I posted this pic on Instagram yesterday and I got so many questions about the makeup look, about kind of makeup in general. So those are the questions we're gonna tackle today. And if you have any other questions that you want me to answer, or any like tips or suggestions that you want, um, post them in the comments below and I will try and answer them in my next video. The first question was from Britt Ross and she asked what kind of skincare routine I use. I've tried to get a lot better with my skin and with taking care of it because I think I was kind of slacking for like the early part of my life. So lately I've been obsessing over serums. I'm going to do a whole video on just like my winter skincare that's going to be a little more in depth. But I wanted to show you guys this unbelievable product that I'm obsessed with and has really transformed my skin just in the past like few months. Okay, this little skin conditioning serum by Rami Cosmetics. I actually met Rami himself on set at Extra a couple weeks ago. He gave me this product and just to try it out, I had never heard of it before. And I have been texting him nonstop. I'm like, I fell in love with your product. It's basically a serum that you put on before your makeup, before your lotion, and it conditions your skin. It has a lot of natural ingredients that just add moisture to it. And I know it looks like an oil, and it does kind of at first feel a little bit greasy when it goes on, but you just give it maybe like three minutes or so, and it completely absorbs into your skin and it has left my skin feeling so much more moisturized not as dry as it used to be and I really feel like putting it on underneath my makeup underneath my foundation helps my makeup to not only last longer but just look a little bit more natural look a little bit more like skin and not like makeup caked on my face next question this is from Sarah Davis Alton what recommend what do you bleh, oh, I can't talk what do you recommend as a good foundation? I tried BB cream and I feel it's too thick. So if you're trying BB cream as a foundation, that's already gonna be thinner than most foundations would be. So if that's still too thick for you, whenever I want to lighten whatever foundation I'm putting on my face, especially in the summer, I do this a lot, I will pump a couple squirts of my foundation and then a couple squirts of whatever my face lotion at the time would be. And I kind of mix them together and then apply it to my skin. So the face lotion helps to dilute the makeup and make it a little bit thinner. It also moisturizes, of course, because it's lotion and just gives you like a nice clean coverage. So I would maybe suggest mixing some lotion with your BB cream or maybe trying another liquid foundation and mixing that with your face lotion as well. See if that works for you. This is from Suzanne Dexter House. What highlighter is it that you use to contour? Highlighter is super important when you're contouring your face, which I do all the time, okay? I have like contour lines down there, I have contour up here, here, and here. Contouring is pretty much my favorite thing ever. So when you're doing that, you always want a highlighter to highlight um, the places that you want the light to hit and kind of brighten. This is my favorite highlighter that I've ever used. I think I bought this maybe like three years ago. So this little thing has lasted me a long time. That's why it's a little ratchet looking and uh, old and like whatever. But this is by Mary Lou Manizer, AKA the Luminizer. And it's because it's old, it has all broken up inside, but I refuse to throw it away because this is really good highlighter stuff in here. So I'm not gonna waste it. I'm not gonna be wasteful. And I apply it with a little fan brush just like this. I dip it in the highlighter and I just kind of lightly dab it right there and then above my eyebrows, right here, and then down my nose. I love it because it's shimmery, but it's not glittery. There's a big difference between glitter and shimmer. I don't know about you, but I don't want no glitter flakes on my cheeks. That is not cute, it looks like messy. But I do want a nice shimmer and glow. So this is what you need. You can buy it on Amazon. It'll ship to you in like a couple days and you will be nice and highlighted and glowy and dewy and you will thank me. Okay, this one's from Christy Scott. Do you recommend a good under eye concealer? So under eye concealers are like, that's like one thing I have been in the search of for pretty much forever because it's such an important tool to have in your makeup bag. It's such an important, it's like a basic that every girl needs is a good under eye concealer. So my favorite makeup artist, my girl Lindsay Zabitz, who you've seen, if you follow me, you've seen her doing my makeup, you've seen me posting pictures of my face when she's done my makeup, and I finally gave in and bought this concealer that she's been using under my eyes. It's by Clarence, it's called Instant Concealer. This is the color 01. I love this stuff. It was a little bit more pricey if I remember correctly. It might be around $30, but it's 
awesome. It brightens, it's not too cakey, it's not too thick because you really don't want something that's too thick to go under your eyes because then it's just going to crease and it's going to kind of make you look older, it's going to make you look even more tired because you're going to see like creases underneath your eye. So this stuff is great. I just dab a tiny amount on my hand and then use my finger to apply it just under my eye and smooth it in. And then I always set it with this Revlon Photo Ready Powder. It's a white setting powder and it just kind of helps to set it in place and really like lock in the concealer, make it all smooth and it doesn't crease that way, which is also a plus. Okay, there's one more question that I want to answer. I don't remember which picture this was commented on or who asked it, but I always get asked what I use to give my hair the volume. As you can see today, I'm kind of rocking the big hair, messy, oh gosh, it's messy back there. But anyway, today I'm rocking the big hair and it is thanks to this product, which I think it's actually fairly new. It's a Style Sexy Hair Texturizing Spray Clay. It works similar to a dry shampoo in that it adds texture, but something about this like clay, whatever it is, I don't know what it is, really holds the volume and the bigness. Sometimes I feel like with dry shampoos or with like things that I use to try and texturize my hair and give volume, I'll spray it in and then it'll look great for like five minutes and then like 10 minutes later it's back to being flat and I'm like what the heck I just put a whole ton of product in it. But this spray clay stuff is amazing. You literally just kind of hold your hair out and spray it like that. You can already look at that. You can even see what it just did. And then what I do, so I separate my hair like this, spray, and then once I've done that, I then go in with hairspray on top of that, the Big Sexy Hair hairspray, which is like the best as far as like a firm hold. And I do that, and then it just keeps it big and fluffy and poofy, and I love it. So yeah, if you haven't tried this texturizing spray clay, you need to. All right, so that wraps it up for today. I wanted to keep it kind of short, but I really want to do more of these videos, answer your questions, and share some of my beauty tips and tricks because that's what I love to do. So comment below, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe so you can be the first to know when I put out new videos. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you. Mwah. Bye.